Today we're testing Ferrite Woods, Tailor Made Stealth Plus, Callaway Rogue STLS, Ping G425 LST, and the Titleist TSI3. I've got Danny with me. He'll be monitoring the track man, and I'll be swinging the shots today. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Fun video today because we're looking at new Ferry Woods, uh, the TaylorMade Stealth Plus and the Callaway Rogue STLS, and then comparing those to uh, the latest from Ping and Titleist, TSI3, and then the Ping G425 LST. So, Danny, there's two of these you're very familiar with in fitting over the last year, yeah. G425 LST and Titleist TSI3, oh. Stealth Plus and Rogue STLS are a little new. So, mm -hmm. what do you think we'll see today? Well, I, I know the, the, the Ping, I know the Titleist very, very well. We have adjustability with both of those. What we lose going into the new um, Callaway mm -hmm. product in TaylorMade, we lose that ability, mm -hmm. right? Actually, no, we, we lose it just with Callaway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> TaylorMade has it, Callaway's bonded just like their uh, hybrids mm -hmm. as well, or some of them. So from adjustability factor, we've got three liters. We've got one that mm -hmm. is not designed to adjust. So I think condition-wise, we're all in about 75 grams in stiff flex. Uh, different profiles with each. The 10 side family is going to launch a little bit lower. New shaft this year from Project X. Yeah. The hazardous Red. Yeah, that's different. Yep. So behind the scenes with that, basically Hazardous has always been promoting a lower launch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what they're chasing with this is more of the mid or higher launch profile. So it's going to have more torque, more um, kind of softer tip section in mm -hmm. there too to help get the ball up. So I think this is going to be a great test. I'm excited to see what Callaway's bring to the table and definitely Taylor made this year. Yeah, I've got the G425 LST in my bag Ooh. right now. Uh, and I've, I've loved it. And as you know, I'm a big fan of the matte black yes. club head. New this year, Callaway. Is, and I, I'm looking at the two <laughs> club heads now. That's a pretty similar color and a similar look and style yeah. for those two. So I like that. we got the TSI3, which is still that glossy. Then Taylor made's always kind of had that sort of matte uh, finish, whether it's been gray or white or not right. black. So, uh, but I'm excited because I mean, I've loved the G425 LST. It's been awesome, but if there's something out there that's better, I'm willing to replace it. So <laughs> maybe we'll see today if, if there's something else that would be better, but I'm going to hit the shots today. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll see what Trackman says. I'm very curious though. Let's go after it. It's been a while since I hit golf shots, Danny. <laughs> the G425 LST, I like, I, again, like I said, I like that look. I like the new uh, kind of icon that they've got on the club face for alignment. It's a little mm -hmm. bit different than past ping lines where they've had kind of a line there. Yeah. Now they just got these dots, which is really cool, I think. Okay. And that's why it's in your bag. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like to play. I've been off the turf. I've been trying to play for about a 260 to 265 carry. Mm -hmm. And then off the tee, it usually is about five yards further than that. Yeah, so. that, that's phenomenal. I mean, height at 98 feet, launch is great, spins up. Not yeah. much to hate about that first date no. right there. Yeah, I mean, like I, the, I, I would imagine it's gonna set a high bar mm -hmm. for the other ones to meet. Whew. Sayonara. I, you put a munch on that golf ball. I did. 274 to 292. Yeah, that'll do. I like that one. I'm curious about this one. Because Ooh. that's 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 interesting. That was a big miss for you. Yes, it was. Big I miss. chunked it. I hit the big ball first, as they say. Hit the earth first. I want to take a look at just where we hit that. Yeah, that felt high toe, which yeah. is... The reason it turned out so well. Yep. And, you know, when you're talking millimeters, Drew, you know, easier way to frame that and the, the guys watching as well, look at a, a dimple on a golf ball. Mm -hmm. One dimple is four millimeters. Okay. So we missed by a dimple and a half. Yeah. Um, toe side and about almost two dimples high on the toe, which <laughs> dropped that spin. But that's a great miss to have. I mean, we yeah. got that back end distance. Let it knuckle a little bit. Sure. But mm -hmm. we get away with it. Yep. Okay. And then one thing too, I'll say, it looks like a reason I caught the, you know, the earth first 
mm -hmm. the map for my attack angle is positive, which right. can make it tough to hit the golf ball first. But. Yep. Okay, great. But I like that miss. That's another Absolutely. reason why this, and that's the LST, by the way. Yeah. You know, you get the max, uh, that's going to be even more forgiving than this one. So. True, true. That one was good. Yeah. Great ball. Yeah. Okay, Drew. So this one has earned its spot in the bag for you. Yes. You've played it all year long. You've mm -hmm. loved it. And we're seeing the great results with it. We're mm -hmm. setting the bar really, really high here. I mean, club speed is fantastic. Ball speed and efficiency, well done there. I was really happy with this shot in particular, mm -hmm. where you know the spin dropped a little bit. You can see we're more traditionally closer to three grand yep. on the spin, okay? But when we hit that kind of high toe, it knuckled for you. So that's the forgiveness loaded into that head as well. So I was really impressed by that. Mm -hmm. You know, carry-wise, we're very similar. Even on a miss, it yep. still carried and got you that backhand distance that you want. Yeah. So overall, really, really good start with this. I'm interested to see how the others uh, sound for once. Yeah. You know, Peng has definitely a little bit more of a a tone. Yeah, it's to certainly it. unique than yeah. you know compared to the other brands. But um, I, I've always gravitated towards Ping because of that look. And mm -hmm. now you're, I'm seeing these other manufacturers now go to that matte black. So yeah. uh, I'm very intrigued, especially by the new Callaway. But I mean, again, like I said, if there's something that outperforms this and right. I can trust it, I'll yeah. certainly think about putting it in the bag. So. Yeah, I, I can see the excitement in you. Yeah. Let's, let's keep on going. <laughs> Stealth Plus. Okay, so Drew. Talk to me about the look. It's mm -hmm. got to be a little different than Peng. It is. It is. It does feel like it's a larger footprint, a little bit. Okay. Um, that might not be accurate because it's it's like, you know, I think TaylorMade does a lot of things visually that kind of, I don't want to say throw you off, but it's mm -hmm. distracting from the shape of it. Sure. And they've had that white line on top. They've had, mm -hmm. you know, that big thicker white line of like the M1 <laughs> series. Right. So they've gone to all black here, but there is kind of that almost like a, a shiny piece to it here okay. on the leading edge. So. Okay. Uh, but I do think overall it's a little bit larger footprint than the ping. Okay. So maybe it might be a little bit more forgiving if Perhaps. that's the tendency. Yeah. But let's send it. I'm excited about this one. Mm. Hello. Doesn't get much straighter than that. No. For me, anyway. That was roasted, as we like to say. Really felt like I sliced that one, too. I was waiting for it to do a little... One of well, these. Maybe that's the forgiveness in that head, that Could twist be. face, you know, engaging that's and true. helping you out a little yeah. bit there. That was in another chunky one. This. There it is. See, there's that kind of miss again, that ping delivered. Yeah. And yet again, the launch was up, but it knuckled. Mm -hmm. So again, carry and total were great. Yeah. Great miss. Love the forgiveness of this. Same effect. Yep. I think they're neck and neck, ping and tailor made so far. I know, because that's it's a we've had the same thing. One of those shots, just a little bit behind the ball, but we still yeah. get it 270 plus yards. Yeah. Great move. That one felt really good. Don't need track man to tell us that was good. That was, I think the best feeling three wood I've hit that in a long phenomenal. time. That was phenomenal. I mean, you were talking earlier about that 265 carry with mm -hmm. Peng. We're delivering a little bit more. We are. Reason why is that spin is staying down for you. Yeah. That was a bomb. Imagine that off the tee. That's a weapon. Mm -hmm. Seriously, a that 301 one, weapon. That one felt good. It felt like I kind of almost, it felt like I created a little bit more lag in the swing. Could be shaft related there, but yeah. I don't know. But that again, was, that's that hazardous red, that softer mm -hmm. profile. Yeah. That's what you might have felt there. Yeah, that's that probably what happened. Lag it it did feel like bit. at the top and coming down, there's a little bit more lag to it. Yeah, which, yeah. Resulted in a pretty decent shot. I'll take that every time. That's, that's a great, great thing to see with a new shaft. All right, this feels like it's right. And it is over there a little bit. Okay. That face felt open and it was open, but. Okay, so Drew, talk to me about the, the feel first and foremost with this brand new mm -hmm. from TaylorMade. I, I want to know what you felt. Yeah, I do really like the feel. I think they. Mm -hmm. This Zaytec titanium that they have on this plus version, yeah. 
um, it's highly lauded for a reason. You yeah. know, it's really explosive, really solid feel. I like that a lot. And when I hit a couple of those really good, yeah. and there is definitely some explosiveness there. So I really like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we talked about the shaft a little bit. There's kind of that, you know, seems like it's, I mean, all these shafts are a little bit too flexible for me. Yeah. Um, just for the sake of consistency and what we have, though, we're 75 grams stiff. Yep. Um, but I think it's just a little bit harder to control than the ping shaft that I was using. Okay. Talk to me about the forgiveness, though, with this. I mean, you brought up the bigger footprint initially, yeah. you know, visually looking at TaylorMade. We saw some forgiveness in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. But again, we set the bar high with ping. Yeah. We're still chasing that. Yeah. No, I think that's, that's certainly true. And, um, I think one thing too to point out, so while there was that same miss hit, I thought I was kind of surprised though. I mean, that, that one on the right is certainly right. Don't get me wrong, but right. it felt worse than that actually. Yeah. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a curve right than it was more of just a push. Right. So. And uh, again, that's, you know, the miss, at least it launches high and it spins low. I mean, look yeah. at your carry. If we take one miss out, look at your carry now, yeah. 276, 270, 272. Mm -hmm. And yes, one went a little bit right, but it still managed the same exact yeah. carry. So if you had water at 250, you could trust to send this thing mm -hmm. over the top of that. Yeah. That's a huge weapon, mm -hmm. huge, huge weapon. But again, we're setting the bar high with Peng. We are, we so are. Let's keep on going. Next uh, coming up is gonna be the new one from Callaway. Nice. I think this one's gonna intrigue you. Oh, it is, it already has. So Drew, I think this one's got some appeal for you. It's yes. matte black finish. Matte black finish. A little bit, it seems, a little bit more compact looking at it. One thing, though, I'm noticing. So the last two, um, well, at least the, the Stealth, mm -hmm. and then what I'm noticing is these grooves are very, they catch my eye, which mm. I don't love. Okay. So you look down on it, the white grooves all the way across, it kind of, I don't want to say distract you, but okay. it's, it's just something you're looking at. Does it make you feel like you see more loft? I think it does. And okay. that's not, I mean, I'm not turned off by it or anything like that. Right. It's just, it's something that when I look down, that's what I'm looking at right away are those okay. grooves. Yeah, I think that'll promote a lot of confidence for other players as well, though, mm -hmm. Drew. Seeing yeah, those lines, seeing more loft, being more confident that they're going to get the ball up in the air. Yeah. But let's send this. I'm very excited about this one for you. I hope that stays right. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. That didn't feel like, that was weird. That spins low. So it didn't feel like it was one of those knuckleball low spinners. Yeah. It felt like I hit it solid. Do, it do we want to check uh, kind of where you hit that? I kind of do just want to see. Okay, a little bit higher in the face. That makes a little more sense. Yeah, yeah, not bad, though. No. I mean, your dynamic loft, you shut that down a little bit due to the face angle being yeah. a little bit closed. But overall, great miss, great start. No, I mean, yeah. I'd really, really good. I'll take that. Yeah, let's see some more. <laughs> hmm, yeah. I am loving the consistency with this yeah. right off the bat. Got there a couple of different ways. A little bit more spin on that second one, but yep. same spot. <laughs> Club Ooh. twirl. Saw it. Club twirl. Sorry. <laughs> Beautiful ball there, man. So a wow. little more spin there, but I, I, I do want to see that hit location too, because it didn't feel like that was okay. You kind of heal. Yeah. But a heel strike forgiveness wise. Oh yeah. Still that's... carried in total. I mean, my, <laughs> my carry numbers on all of them are pretty similar, right? That right. one dipped maybe three, four yards or something like that. Right. I mean, we're, <sighs> yeah. we're right here. Yeah. I mean, that's, this that, is, that's perfectly fine with me. We're finding a competitor to ping. We are right now. Oh, that one's really good. There's a twirl for that one. Kaboom. Yeah. I am really, really liking this this profile for you, Drew. I mean, carry wise, we I can like see that. even the misses are still getting out there, mm -hmm. but total distance. I mean, we're there. Oh yeah. So oh, we're yeah. closer to the center line. I like that. You know, we didn't kind of leak anything right with this. Mm -hmm. You know, you, it seemed like you're able to control that a little bit more. Uh, the sound, talk to me about that. Yeah, I think um, that it was uh, maybe, you know, you can tell me what you think about sound, but I thought mm -hmm. the sound was a little bit quieter. Yeah. Than the other two that I've hit so far. Yeah, I, I think ping is always going to stand out and be kind of the loudest mm -hmm. tone. Uh, this one having you know some carbon-based tech in there as well is going to mute the sound a little bit. Yeah. Same thing with uh, TaylorMade as well. Mm -hmm. So I think you're right on track with that. 
But this next one of the titles, this thing has been phenomenal this year. I think, you know, profile-wise, it's going to fit your eye. It's just not matte black. Right. But I think that sound is going to be closer to Pang due to it being more titanium. Sure. Based. So well, let's rip this I'm, TSI. Hey, it, you know, I can get over the glossy black if it performs well enough, you know? Right. So, right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a, a look. But if it gives me the numbers I need and adds something to my game, then I'm going to put mm -hmm. it in the bag, so. It's a little low on the face. Hmm. Interesting. I will say throughout fitting this year in 2021, this has promoted a little bit lower launch, lower spin okay. than others. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not surprised to see that. Let's see a couple more though. A little bit better contact. Yeah. Good numbers there. Yeah, that's exactly, I mean. That's what you're chasing, 260, yep. 280 carry. I like the height, I like the landing angle, getting a little bit steeper on yep. that too. Good show there. That one felt good. Yeah. Fantastic ball there, Drew. That's the highest we've seen. For height? Yeah, Interesting. at 122. That landing angle, nice and steep there. Good, healthy landing angle. Launch and spin, carried 276. Great, great ball. Mm -hmm. that, that sound from at least back here by me sounds a little bit louder than both Callaway and TaylorMade. I think so, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. due to the titanium-based head. Yeah, it's I think you're right about that. got a little more of a sound to it. Mm -hmm. That was an interesting feel. What, what, talk to me. What did you it, feel? It felt really firm. Okay. Didn't feel like a toe strike, though, or something that would have a knuckleball. Maybe just high on the face. Okay. You're, you're spot on. High on the face there. Yeah. It felt really firm. Okay. Interesting. But again, there's your carry and there's your total. No, I it, it, really good performance there. I hit it and I was like, that, I, did, I had no idea what to expect when I hit it. So. Yeah, boy. Club twirl. Club twirl for the win. Yeah, that'll do. That so, was some pretty low spin there too. Exactly. Yep. Launch at eight, spawn at 25. Height, that, see that landing angle though? I mean, mm -hmm. we saw some variance with this. We, we did. saw height yep. you know, at 122 and landing angle closer to 40. So there is some variable with it, but depending on where you strike it, the forgiveness level is there to minimize the spin, keep your carry and keep your total. Yeah. So this has been one of the hottest uh, fairway woods in the market in 2021, at least for me in fitting. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised by this one bit. Yeah, no, I, I really like, again, there was that, it's a very firmer, it's a firmer feel where either you get a little more feedback, mm -hmm. even on like when you hit it the, in the center. Yeah. Um, but I think the performance was really good, yeah, obviously. Ab so. Absolutely. And, you know, we got to remember the adjustability factor with, mm -hmm. um, with Titleist, you know, 16 different ways to maneuver that thing. Yeah. It's incredible. If it Plus is. you got that uh, center of gravity absolutely uh, settings in here too we can go heel you can go <laughs> right. towards the uh, uh toe as well so there is that factor too which yeah. could help if i i mean now based on that dispersion map i don't think i would move it at all but there is that option too though with the the tsi3 that you know that you don't have with the other ones absolutely yeah you know calloway's bonded uh paying has some adjustability as well taylor made has great adjustability mm -hmm. um but overall i mean this one stands out i would say this is a very close competitor yeah. to uh your ping maybe even a little bit better, mm -hmm. at least today in the results. I think we'll have to do it again to confirm what should go in the bag for you in 2022. Yeah. But I think this is a great start. I love the comparison with the new product as well. Mm -hmm. it, it really showed true. I mean, the TaylorMade product, we know the sim or the titanium heads from them deliver year after year mm -hmm. after year. They're phenomenal there. Yep. Ping, nice and stable. We know that. It's more forgiving. We can miss on the head. It's not going to be right. you know, more erratic there. So Peng delivered the great titles. was fantastic there. Um, talk to me about what was your favorite look with these four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it, it's between that, that Rogue and that Peng. And that's the, the Rogue ST, LS, and then the G425 mm -hmm. are my two favorite looks. I think the one, I think I'm going to lean Peng just because I talked about those grooves on that Rogue yeah. ST, LS face. I just, 
I put the rest of these club th clubs down, and I don't really look at like the, the the club face doesn't draw my attention the way it did with that one. And do so. does titles titles don't have white on the face? Do they? There's a, that's on just the outside. Minimal. I think that's how it is the tailor made too. If I'm yeah, not mistaken, it's on the outside just, there. Yeah, they're blank, and then you can really see it with yeah, palette. Yeah, it's, it's very visible. So yes. that for me, I didn't love that. Okay. Um, it's not like it's something I couldn't get over, but. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I think Ping's got the look I'm looking for, okay. um, the matte black, nothing too distracting. You got very simple alignment aid, yeah. um, which I think overall, and then I think this TSI 3, to, to me, just looking at it, it looked like the biggest footprint. Okay. I think, I want to say the Rogue was the smallest footprint. So okay. for those golfers out there that are really particular about the way that the clubs look, yeah. I think that's my takeaway from okay. that aspect anyway. Sure, sure. I mean, this was a, a great test. Mm -hmm. I love the new product. Drew, thanks for coming in and yeah. taking the swings. It was phenomenal to see bombs. I mean, <laughs> Smash Factor is crazy off the board, flirting with 300 yards with a three wood. Yeah. I mean, we're getting dangerous now, Drew. So <laughs> thanks for coming in. Thanks Absolutely. for taking all the swings. Guys, if you like what, what you saw here, come on in and get fit for some of these fairway woods. Try and chase Drew's distance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.